first time, we find out what is the new evidence in the Natalie Holloway case. Dutch television reporter Peter DeVry says that he has a tape that implicates Euron van der Sloot. Van der Sloot is one of three young men who were suspects in the Alabama teenager's disappearance while vacationing in Aruba. She vanished on a high school graduation trip in 2005, and van der Sloot was the last person seen with Natalie. Greta Van Susteren is in Holland where Natalie's mother got a first-hand look and listen to the tape. And she joins us on the phone now. Greta, what are you learning? Well, here's what we're learning, and it's very mysterious, Edie, because, look, the way the Dutch television reporter has positioned this with all the promo and the teases and things that are being reported back to the United States is that this is a confession, that he says, look, I took her out there, out beyond the sandbar, I let her go, and she, she's gone, and that he, essentially that he, that he murdered her. We don't know if there's more alleged in this tape. But here's what's so mysterious. If this happened, why is the prosecutor, the public prosecutor, Ruba, making releasing press releases yesterday and today, which almost flags everybody off at saying that they're not taking, you know, don't expect an arrest to do. So that, that's peculiar. Even Dave Holloway, Natalie's father, who I spoke to last night, he wondered why, you know, no one's moving on this. So what, what we're sort of stuck is, is trying to figure out, is this a Dutch TV hyping a story or is this Dutch TV reporter doing something that the Aruban police were never able to do? And that's solved the case. Well, that's what I was asking you yesterday, you know, that I said, if, if anybody's going to uncover it, wouldn't it be the police, not some, you know, reporter, however good he is, you know, in Holland. Uh, and you said, no, it could be easier for them because they don't have the regulations that the police do. And it sounds like that's what happened here. Also, they may have more interest. And, you know, the TV, they may be more diligent. Uh, apparently that this reporter has made a career of solving crimes, so apparently he's right up his alley. Um, the police in Aruba, as you know, many of us thought would, would have, they would have liked to have solved it, but then when it got, when it sort of exploded all over them, it almost seemed like they were trying to hide everything under the rug. So, you know, it's just, this just may be a really ambitious reporter who has gone out and done things that nobody else could do, uh, including speak the language that you're on. Vandersloot is very comfortable speaking in, which is Dutch. Um, or, uh, you know, this could be just television hype and we're all back to another emotional roller coaster. We were there last month in December when, when the public prosecutor himself said, look, uh, we have new evidence. And the new evidence turned out to be horrible. So, you know, everyone's perplexed. It's very serious. And we're pounding the pavement, hitting the phones, and trying to get more information. Uh, if I tell you one thing, Beth Holloway claims to have seen it, and I believe that she did say, see it, uh -huh. and she apparently, through her lawyer la last night, apparently she's, she says she's got answers. Yeah. So, well, you know, I don't know. I know you, you talked to both her lawyers and Euron van der Sloot's lawyers. Now, the interesting thing, of course, is that people may remember this, the incident where Euron van der Sloot and this reporter, Peter de Vrij, were on a TV station, I believe in the Netherlands, and at the end of it, don't know what happened, but uh, Euron stood up and threw a glass of wine directly into this guy's face. He was not expecting anything. So I, I wonder if there is sort of extra uh, you know, impetus on, from his side to basically get Euron. Well, everyone wants to look. Every journalist wants to solve the case uh, because you know it would be because it's the dog ever, dog does. You know, we, we've been unable to complete it, and so you know I don't I don't uh, I don't uh, I'm not suspicious of the of the uh, of the journalist's zeal in trying to solve it. And and here's the key: if if Yaron Vandersloot confesses on tape to this crime, it still has to be taken a step because you've got to make sure that the confession is a truthful one because here is the most bizarre thing that we've learned in the criminal justice system here in the United States and it's, it's something that no one wants to believe could ever happen but people confess to crimes they didn't commit which is so alien you, know, you and I how could anyone possibly do that? But anyway, they do. So you, you take the statement that's on tape, and you've got to go out and you've got to corroborate it, find independent information to corroborate the truthfulness of it, if indeed this is a confession. But right now, we're just operating off the hype of what this Dutch television the station is doing and all their teases and what they're dripping mm -hmm. off through American media. All right. I, I know it's been very nice of you to, to uh, get up early, join us, because you've got your show later on tonight. And I just want to give you the chance to tell people, because you've got a good show tonight. You're going to be looking at something else. Tell us what? Well, we're looking at a lot of things, but the thing, actually, sort of the, fun, the interesting thing I think that we're looking at is the Kathleen Savio uh, case out in Illinois. Remember, Sergeant Drew Peterson's had four wives. So wife number three is found dead in the bathtub. Well, the family of Kathleen Savio is suing to reopen her estate, which the reason why this is so important is because the police can't make 
Sergeant Drew Peterson talk, but in a civil suit, if they reopen the estate and have a civil suit, they can put them under oath. They can even do a deposition on videotape. Yeah. So this could be giant. You know, we could get answers uh, that might be uh, quite fascinating. All right. Greta Van Susteren, you can catch on the record with Greta Van Susteren every weeknight, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. It's going to be really good tonight, so watch that.